is the life of a mega nerd baby We doing things and we making it happen right From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes No one can stop us now cause we're keeping it nerdy nice What's up YouTube, this is Christmas Sage Films And today I'll be showing you guys how to create a splash screen in Visual Basic 2008 And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this So let's get, go ahead and get started Alright, and I've, I'm going to use my antivirus program to create a splash screen for it, so Go ahead and let this load Okay, there we go Okay, now the first way to do this is you'll go to Project, Add Windows Form, and click Add. And you'll go to your Form 4. Let that load right quick. And you'll resize it to what the splash screen wants. And you'll go click on here, go to your Properties. Go to form border style and click none. That way you don't have the border or anything. Okay, and what you'll do, you'll insert a timer. You'll click on the timer. You'll go up here to enable, double click to change it to false. Go to interval, and each 1000 is a second. So 1000 is two, uh, one second, 2000 is. 2 seconds, 3 thousandths, 3 seconds. I'm just going to put 3 thousand. Okay, click here. And what you can do, you can use the stuff here and insert your splash screen, like here. But what I want to do is I'm going to click on this and look at the size, 457 by 225. And I'm going to go into Fireworks and create an image with that size. So I'm going to pause this right quick and I'll come back when I'm done creating my image. What's up guys, I'm back and this is what I've created. Uh, now, the way I'm showing you now is I found the best way to actually uh, customize it because it's got more customized options. The other way is really not as good, but this right here is pretty much what I've done. So let's go back into Visual Basic, and I've already got it uploaded right into my screen here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click Timer 1. I'm going to go me.hide, open parentheses, close parentheses form one dot show open parentheses close parentheses and go ahead and go to your shield antivirus properties you can also locate this by clicking project in properties here and make sure your first startup form is the form that you created as your splash screen which in my case is form four and debug this And there we go, after three seconds it brings up your program. Okay, now for the second way. Let's go form one. Let's bring up the form one. Okay, you'll go to project, add new item, and you'll go to splash screen. Click add. And here we go, this as you can see really not that much. Customize possibilities here but basically you'll click on this and go down here to text in the properties and just change the text maybe to I'll just change it to what my programs called shield guard antivirus and as you can see really you can resize this but I'll go ahead and resize it and show you guys may run down to about 14 there we go. And go down here. You can pretty much change this whatever you want. Version maybe one. This is probably it's pretty much all this is is a already laid out template, pretty much. And so you can pretty much uh, just go in here and change some stuff. And there we go. Copyright stage films. Click here. And this is where you'll change your background image. I'm just going to select random image. Uh, here we go. Here's 
for my friends playing baseball. Just click OK. And there we go. That's pretty much all you can do here. And then what you'll do here is you'll go to Project. And you go to your properties, which I already have. Open here. And you'll go to down here to Splash Screen. Click here and go to Splash Screen 1. And pretty much debug that. And that will pop up. And then I'm thinking, yeah, the second one will pop up. And there you go. So yeah, that's basically two ways to uh, create splash screens in Visual Basic 2008. Also, I'm wanting to show you guys something uh, I didn't show in my last. Somebody had brought up in a comment. If you want to export just the .exe file, you'll go here and click Build. That's a third way to do it. And then to access that, you'll go to your Documents. And you'll go to the Visual Studio, which is here. Go to Projects. And just go to maybe here. Click on that. Go to Bin. And go to Release. And when you click Build, it'll have the .exe file here. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope this helps. And I'll be coming out with more tutorials very, very soon. So yeah. Thanks, guys.